Cody? Coming, Sus. Hey, Cody. Hi, Frankie. I'm just... Okay, good news first or bad? <laughs> Frankie, I have to go on a... Okay, bad news, I guess. I'd like to get it out of the way first. Remember the science camp I applied for us to go to? I was accepted! That's not bad news. But you weren't. The good news, I talked to the camp director, and if you take a catch-up math class, you're in! Um, it's okay. I've been busy with the rescue team lately, and... But if you don't come to camp, we'll barely see each other all summer. Cody! Leaving now! I have to go, but I know you'll love it at camp. Congratulations! <sighs> I'm sorry to pull you away. I know you haven't seen Frankie much lately. Yeah, she's been in the lab a lot more, and I've been busy here. But you're still best friends, right? Yeah, I guess, but I'd hate to see you two grow apart. Grow apart of what? <gasps> like a new piece of your body or something? Ew. <laughs> no, Blades, we don't mean... <gasps> Is everyone all right? You bet. And we have a visitor. How do you do? I'm Chief Burns. Ah, Americans, yes? Uh, no, uh, uh, what year is this? What year? I'm sorry, sir, but who are you exactly? Ah, how rude of me. So sorry. My name is Jules. Ver. Okay. Not this guy. Yeah, I'm out. Did I uh, say something wrong? Well, it's just that there's a famous author from the 1800s named Jules Verne. Uh, no, no, no. I've written a few things, but hardly famous. I'm reading this book at school, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, but it's over a hundred years old. You're this Jules Verne? Uh, no, I do not recognize this. He's a fake. Even I've heard of that book, and I've never heard of any books. Well, if he really is a time traveler, he could have come from a point before he wrote the book. No way, fake. Uh, Cade? Mm, time travel. I hate time travel! But how does a hot air balloon become a time machine? My balloon? Where is it? It has something very important on it. Heatwave and I brought it over. The bots are unloading it now. Heatwave? The heatwave? Ça va bien, then I am not worried. Wait, you know about... Heatwave. I still maintain that hot air balloons are a hard-to-control, outdated Earth technology. But they're charming! Yeah, till you have to untangle the wreckage from the trees. Beep! The other robots have returned. Beep up. Oh. <laughs> Do not pretend for my sake. On a trip to our future, I met, uh, we'll meet? A very advanced, uh, how you say, la la la, Cybertronians. Oui, oui, oui. Okay, one, he knows about Cybertron. Two, more advanced than us. And three, what's wee wee wee? It means yes in French. Rescue bots meet Jules Verne. He's visiting from the past of France. Verne? As in Verne device? The instrument Dr. Morocco uses to power his chamber of youth. You know of Thaddeus Morocco? That is whom I have come to find. We are friends. 
Any friend of his can polish my... Hold on, Heatwave. Mr. Vern, maybe you'd better explain. Thaddeus and I met at the London Exposition of 1862. We shared scientific findings, and soon I trusted him enough to give him one of the two prototype devices I'd been working on. But soon after, our interests went in different directions. I focused on exploration to further the advancement of mankind. Thaddeus, it seemed, worked to advance only one man, trying to make himself younger, stronger, wealthier. I should have intervened, but I was so caught up in my own work, I, I let us drift about. But just this morning, well, this morning in Paris 1869, I received a message consisting only of these coordinates and today's date. And you think the message was from Morocco? Who else? But now without my balloon, how am I going to get back there? Mr. Vern, meet High Tide. He's been kind enough to give us transport. Uncle Ab. Thanks, I think. Ready to fetch, boy? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> noble. A boy and his mechanical dog? Man's best friend, they say, no? Servo's a Cybertronian helper bot. But he is pretty friendly. Friendship, young man, is precious. Never forget this. We've reached the coordinates. No island, nothing on my scanners. What is a servo? Uh, hello, we have hit something. No! Dad! <laughs> it's okay, son. I'm just a little... Catch of the day. Do marine mammals come with built in cameras? Not usually, no. Aw, it wants to play. I think he wants us to follow him. I doubt that whale is saying anything, son. <laughs> but I could be wrong. <clears throat> High tide. Looks like an underwater trip. I can help you with that. reveals herself to us. Yes, a book about such things must be written. Detecting another ship. Dad, I think it's the Nemo. Uh, what is this Nemo? I'm guessing it's the reason you were sent to these coordinates. Hold on, we're docking. No sign of anyone. Looks like there's an upper deck. You two stay behind me. Jules, you came. I knew you would. Thaddeus. Wow. Dr. Morocco, you got really old. Excuse the whale attack, Jules. Had I known it was you on board, I'd never have put the ship in danger. Why would you want to put anyone in danger, Thaddeus? I have a history with this family and their robots. But come, 
Embrace me. I have missed you, mon ami. Sorry to interrupt the reunion, but you're coming with us, Morocco. Chief Burns. Delightful as ever. Come to slap the irons on me? How did you even get this submarine back? I was forced to trade my Vern device to the pinch woman for the return of my ship. I'd intended on outsmarting her, of course, but... And without the device, you can't run your chamber of youth. Bright as ever, aren't we? But before I surrendered the device, I took a chance. Though I lack the energy source to send myself through time, I wagered, apparently correctly, that there was enough power to deliver a piece of paper. <laughs> A message to the past, and my old friend. And my very oldest friend, over a hundred and forty years, incroyable. I used my device to travel through time. You used yours to defy it. I could have traveled through time as well. If only you had shared your energy source with me. You know I took an oath to never reveal that secret. All that matters is that you came. And with your device, I can operate my chamber of youth and save my life. Certainement. It is yours to use. Sorry, Mr. Verne, but in the present, this man is a wanted criminal. What transgressions has he committed? Where do we start? There's the nanites, the Morbot, the T-Rex. The weather machine. Oh, I do so love hearing my resume recited. <laughs> Thaddeus, I am disappointed at how you have abused your intellectual gifts. This is not the man I knew. Do what you must. Chief to Chase, be ready to take a prisoner into custody. Ah, I'd hoped not to resort to this. But it's clear that force is the only thing you understand. Morocco, it's you! I'm sure that you remember my charming metal-eating ants that I controlled with pheromone signals. I've since improved the technology. I can now mimic the communication of undersea creatures and, as you saw earlier, Use it to control them. Guys, trouble headed your way. What kind of trouble? Earthquake! Uh, sea quake! I'm starting to hate the ocean. Rescue bots, protect the ship! Destroy your robot friends. Whoa! No. Blades, take servo! your attack. We'll surrender. Not so fast, Chief. That's my tender, and I have a little something to say in the matter.
How did... When did you acquire that? Big fella, isn't he? New member of the team. Game's over, Doctor. I surrender. But I beg you, allow me to use the Chamber of Youth when we arrive back, or I shall perish within days. Ah, oh, back to my old young self. More time to serve your sentence with. Come on. Come to gloat, have you? Of course not. Such a friendship. How did we come to this? Frankie, it's me. Mm-hmm. I can see that. Listen, I wanted to... Well, I just don't want us turning into these guys. Dr. Morocco. But who's the other one? I'll explain later. Just watch. I made my choices, as did you. We simply took different paths. No, mon ami. There was only one path, and you left it. Nonsense. My dreams were bigger than yours. I took what I wanted, and I apologize for none of it. Most things I have found can be measured in this world, except the bounds of human ambition. I am sorry, Thaddeus. I should have tried out how to be a good friend. Perhaps if I had. <laughs> so you think one of us is gonna turn into an evil villain? No, not that part. The part about best friends, drifting away from each other. I decided I'm going to take the extra math course so we can go to science camp together. I don't want us to end up like Morocco and Jules Verne. Thanks, Cody. Wait, that's Jules Verne? As in THE Jules Verne? I'll be right over. Balloons repaired. She is just about ready to go, Mr. Verne. Ah, uh, merci. Magnifique. <gasps> is that him? Captain, I am thinking. I would like to take Thaddeus back into the past. He should serve his sentence in his own era. I'm sorry, Mr. Verne, but our facilities are far more secure than anything in your day. I'm not willing to take the risk of him escaping again. Ah, <sighs> wait. Um, Dad, you know how Morocco used the Verne device to erase people's memories? What if we did that to him? Reset his memory to before he started being bad? Hmm, très intéressant. With no memory of his past, my old friend could have a second chance. But if you take this Morocco back, his younger self is already living in your time. Can both of them be there? Sorry to interrupt, but did I mention I hate time travel? Hmm, a conundrum. I shall take him to the future. He can live there. I will visit him. We will build our friendship again. Danny, let's head back to the jail and pick up our guest. Mr. Vern, I'd like you to meet my best friend. <laughs> Is that Energon? The wick, my energy source. It interacts with the device by, uh, comment dit-on? In a special way, creating the ability to travel through time. Is that how you met, I mean, meet the Autobots? I cannot discuss the future. No one should know their own destiny, no matter how important it is. What's that about? No clue. If he has something to say to me, he should just come out and say it, even if it is in French. Okay, Doctor, time to... He escaped. Energon. His energy source. No, Thaddeus, wait! The Energon will be your final gift to me, mon ami. Weigh the balloon down! <laughs> <laughs> Next time you attempt to stop a hot air balloon, please assure you wear your helmet. Glad to see you too, Chase.
It's time, I think, for us to drift even further apart, Jules. What? No! Rocco, you need to be nicer to people. A grand adventure it has been. Merci, au revoir, mes amis. him to sign my copy. Anyone know what au revoir means? It's like, till we meet again. <laughs> Wonder what he meant by that. Don't you get it? You'll meet him in the future. He just didn't want to tell you. Oops, I guess I shouldn't have told you either. Okay, whoa. Whoa. Time travel. Still hate it. Do you think Jules managed to wipe Dr. Morocco's memory? Let us hope so. The future will be much safer if he is reformed. If they made it to the future. <laughs> I think they did. And I think they become friends again. Oh, Jules, thank you for showing me around. It is nice to spend time with you, my old friend. I've always loved parents. Thanks for coming to help you guys. The sensors over here on Wayward Island should have a ton of intel about last night's earthquake. You called that an earthquake? It barely knocked over a lawn chair. But the next one could be disastrous. That's why the data is invaluable. It's like geological Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Hey, that's where we found Ira, isn't it? Ira the caveman? That's right. He's out here somewhere. I wonder if he felt the quake last night. He might still use the cave as his shelter. Maybe we should check on him. Uh-oh. Get down! <sighs> Just an aftershock. Everybody okay? What? This is incredible. Um, Graham? Better look at this. I think we should get some help. A routine patrol with four bats and stasis. He's like a poke in the strangest of places. Earth was their home now and in addition. Optimus Prime gave them this mission. Learn from the human servant. Cybertronian, all right, but I've never seen one like it. It's ancient, way before our time. Looks like a cargo ship. It appears to have suffered some sort of collision. But with what? There are two bots inside who would know for sure. You know, um, maybe we should come back later. Those guys have been in here forever. What's a few more years? I see why this thing didn't show up on our Energon scanners. Must have been running on fumes. So these Autobots must be the ones I met in prehistoric days. But why would they land, save some cave people from meteors, then go to sleep? An excellent question, Francine. Perhaps their computer can shed some light on the matter. Then again, perhaps not. You know, airplanes have a black box that records everything that happens during a flight. Do Cybertronian ships have anything like that? The ship's primary memory core. It should be right around here. It sustained some damage. Maybe Doc can help us recover the data and find out what happened. Or we could just ask these guys. There might be just enough power left. What? Cybertronians? Bots! I'm home! Home! Yes! Whoa. Yes, Whoa. yes, 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 yes! Oh, please don't. 
Um, what part of Cybertron is this exactly? It's not. You're still on Earth. Have been for a while. About 10,000 years. What? Don't worry. You haven't aged a bit. Salvage. Is he okay? Working on it. I'm Heatwave. This is my team. Blades, Boulder, and Chase. These are our friends, Graham, Cody, and Frankie. They're humans. Don't worry if you can't tell them apart. It takes a while. Humans, huh? Well, at least they got a little less hairy. Name's Blur. Fastest transport pilot in the galaxy and two-time winner of the Cybertronian 500. Oh, I have pictures somewhere. Uh, yeah, we'll take your word for it. But why land here? Well, me and Salvage, my loader, we got hit by a mega monstro meteor storm. I mean, big! But, uh, <laughs> I managed to land us in one piece. Then you must be the one who rescued the cave people. And saved Ira. Ira? He wasn't called Ira then. You probably knew him as Grrrr. Or maybe just Ugg. Oh, okay, yeah, sounds right. Yeah, that's, that is just how it happened. Good work. You helped a lot of people that day. Salvage! Blur? You made it! You're okay! We're... We're still on Earth? Oh, uh, yeah, um... Listen, I I know things might have looked... What happened? I can't remember anything after the crash. You can't? Your stasis pod was damaged. It might have caused memory loss. So you don't remember me saving you and the cavemen? <laughs> oh, trust me, I was amazing. Aftershock! Blur, Blades, grab the kids. Everyone out. Now! Salvage! Get out! Now! My ship. Whoa! You are fast! I just wanted to get out of there. Uh, you know, to, uh, to, to make sure nobody else was in danger out here. You two are born rescue bots! You're gonna love Griffin Rock! Griffin where now? <laughs> this is where Earthlings keep their valuables? That's a recycling bin. People put things in there that they don't want anymore, but that still might be useful. So, anyone could take what's in here and use it. Somebody threw this away? Can I keep it? I kind of tinker with odds and ends. Uh, okay. I think I'm gonna like this place. The memory core? Why are you dragging that thing with us? We're hoping to find out exactly what happened to your ship. Guys, incoming transmission. Blur, salvage. Come on, you're gonna wanna hear this. Yeah, coming. I just spoke with Optimus Prime. He's coming from the mainland to meet us at the lab. Really? I'm meeting a Prime? It's quite an occasion. It's not every day we find new bots. It is good to see new faces. Salvage, sir. Name's Blur. Welcome to Earth. We have built a new home here in partnership with humans. So can you. Love to, really, your primeness, but, uh, it's a big galaxy. I got places to go, races to win. I recommend you give Earth a chance, Blur. It has more to offer than you realize. We are required to remain robots in disguise. Humans are not yet ready to accept aliens among them. That's supposed to uh, get me to stay? At least consider scanning an Earth-friendly form. <sighs> Fine. So we can scan Anything in here, and that's our new vehicle mode? That is correct, Salvage. All right! <laughs> I, for one, am starting to get the appeal of this planet. <gasps> that symbol. 
The same one on the treasure box. The recycle bin. Yeah, this truck collects those items and... I get it. A moving treasure chest. Oh, just think of all the stuff I could fit in there. While cargo room is important, there are other vehicles that would perhaps prove more practical for everyday use. <sighs> Remember, Chase, sometimes the vehicle chooses you. I think you've made an excellent choice, Salvage. Prepare to scan. <laughs> Feels perfect. Can I try it out? I love it. Whoever thought I would... I mean, I mean, epic. <coughs> Not funny. I think I swallowed my swash plate. Hey, hotshot, maybe you better take it down a notch. Hey, Captain, I'm just having a little fun. Everyone, gather round. Now that you both have new modes, I have discussed your status with Chief Burns. While your paths are always your own, the Chief and I are offering you the opportunity to stay here and train as Rescue Force recruits. What? An unexpected turn Sir. of events. Great! Whoa. Noble. Sir, I'd be honored. So, I'd get to keep these sweet wheels. All right, Earth! Run for cover! I knew it. Did you hear that? We're being replaced. Retired, sent out to pasture. Blades, I don't think... Next month, we'll be in the old box home. Uh-huh. Playing checkers and griping about the food. And we don't even eat. With all due respect, sir, those two aren't exactly rescue bot material. Especially Mr. Speed Demon. Which means they will require expert guidance. That's why I would like you and your team to train them yourselves. Us? Teachers? Seriously? Of course, sir, if those are your orders. Perhaps you can begin by helping them adjust to their new forms and surroundings. I'll take salvage. I know just where to start. <sighs> well, what do you think? Yeah! <laughs> well, this goes here, yes. Let's see. <sighs> Can't believe people think this is junk. I'll find a use for all of it. Everything finds its purpose eventually. And Cody, thanks for bringing me here. Sure thing, Salvage. <sighs> what is that? Oh, used to have one just like you. Hey, Roto up. Oh, good boy! Yes, you are! Yes, you are! <laughs> I'm Chief Burns. This is Cade, Danny, and you've met Graham. Yeah, charmed. So, uh, where's the racetrack? Captain here said I could test my speed against his. A race car against a fire truck? That doesn't seem very fair. Which is why we're not racing on a track. We're racing on an obstacle course. Unless you're not up for it. Up for it? In the words of the great Alpha Trion, one, two, three, go! <laughs> Gotta be faster than that or we'll have to change your name to Stoplight!
Yes! I beat you. I'm awesome. Yeah. But that was cheating. <laughs> Not if you win. Technically, no regulations forbid subterfuge in a training exercise. But still. <laughs> Rules. You know, those cave people I saved didn't waste time counting how many seatbelts I had. They just jumped in. You didn't have seatbelts back then. Or even a vehicle mode. I was just... It was a joke, okay? Oh, he's a million laughs, isn't he? Nice, huh? I made it out of scrap. Guys, it's Don. His car crashed into a crane at City Hall. Is he all right? I think so, but he's trapped in his car. Let's roll, team. We're coming, too. You're not ready. This isn't rocket science. It's one human stuck under a crane. Well, he won't get in the way, and it would be great experience. It is against normal protocol for a rescue team to refuse help. Uh, rescue bots and others, roll to the rescue. Blur, wait. Wait, have you met me? Well, you don't have to all congratulate me at once. Don't worry, Don. We have you. Hurry, they can't hold that thing forever. Let's get you to Dr. McSwain's. Can you walk? Lesson one through 30 in rescuing, don't leave the human in danger. Now get this car out of the way. Give about a nanocycle, will ya? Now get over here and help. The guy's safe, the car's out, just let it drop. The crane would then land directly on City Hall. Blur, I said now. All right, all right. We're too low. We need a better angle, more leverage. I have an idea, but I have to let go. Go for it! Cody, turn on that generator. Will do. Graham, give me a hand. because of your recklessness, Blur. I'm gonna be very, very angry. Really? Won't you be busy being crushed? What the? Whoa. He just built a unidirectional dynamic electromagnet out of junk. There's no such thing as junk. Right, Salvage? Well, that's it. I think I'd be saying it, but this rescue goes to you. Gotta agree with Cap on that one. Couldn't have done it without you, buddy. Done what? Put humans in danger? You were doing that just fine on your own. What were you thinking? You abandoned that driver to save yourself. I, for one, was shocked and remain so. I don't understand. How could you risk your life saving those cave people? But now... Because that was huge. Those were meteors. Th this is, uh, bad driving. And yeah, I did risk my life, and I got every single one of them off that island, all by myself. Blur, you know that is not the truth. Dr. Green was able to repair your ship's memory core. We discovered some troubling footage. Your ship was damaged in a meteor storm and landed on Wayward Island, as you said. But it was Salvage who decided to save the inhabitants. I remember now. You wanted to stay with the ship, but we couldn't. I couldn't leave those cave people behind. You said you'd help me build a raft to get them off the island, but one person went missing, and you said you'd find them. You promised me, but you didn't come back. 
I waited, and you didn't come. So I sent them off, went looking for you. Thought you might be in trouble. I found the missing caveman, but you were nowhere around. I gave him an amulet to protect him, and then... This is the security footage from the ship's bridge. Come on, come on! Get me off this rock! Blur, what are you doing? Salvage, uh, you're back. You were leaving without me? Sorry, you were slow and I, I didn't think you'd make it. Hey, Salvage, buddy, come on. We fought. It scared Ira. He ran off. Then the meteors started hitting the cave. All we could do was go back into stasis and hope for the best. That's what happened. You can't run away from this one. Look, I never said... Well, all right, yes, I did, but... <sighs> you got me, Cap. I know we were never really a team. You did your job, I did mine. But even so... <sighs> Salvage, I'm sorry. Really. Oh, yeah. I believe that. After some careful consideration, I believe we should not give up on Blur. But sir, you saw. He ran out on his partner. Those humans. He lied to us! The rogue does not even care about trying to fit in. If he really didn't care, he wouldn't bother lying. Wait, you're defending him? Heatwave, maybe Blur just needs more time. Like Savage says. Sooner or later, everything finds its purpose. <laughs> I did say that, didn't I? I agree, Cody Burns. I have watched too many Cybertronians take the easy path over the right one. I would like to help Blur make the correct choice. And I still believe you are the one to help him, Heatwave. I have faith in both of you. But sir, I don't... I mean... Uh, I'll try not to let you down, sir. Looks like you get another chance, Hotshot. Not that I think you deserve it. He'll do great. I know he will. Right, Blur? Glad you think so, Cody. Me too, kid. Thanks.